I'm getting my first YouTube check. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? That was so you can let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, my name is Desiree McKinney. I am a full-time model, actress, and musician. If you want more, go to thedesiree.com and you will be able to see all my wonderful merch, music videos, and more. So, right now I'm going to be talking about the time I met J. Cole. And it was a wonderful time. It was the worst of times. It was the best of times. It was a time when... Um, I was really passionate about music, but had no idea how to make it, how to do it. Um, my lip gloss is also on the website, thedesiree.com. It's vegan. It's very good for you, moisturizing, nurturing, um, nourishing. Um, yeah, good for the lips, good for smokers, and all that good stuff. Anywho, back to what I was saying. So, it's a quick story. I used to work at Philippe's. It was one of my 60 day jobs that I had in my lifetime before I became a full time entertainer, musician mostly. And I, while I was working at Philippe's, it was very easy. It was an easy job. We were hostesses, so we stood at the front a lot. Now, I got fired from Philippe's for trying to pursue modeling, acting, and music, which is how most of my jobs I ended up not working at them. Um, I did mention it slightly in the R. Kelly music video. I, I mean, R. Kelly video I had that went viral where I was talking about how I met him, but I didn't say that I was a model or a musician in that video. I think my subconscious just wanted to make sure that, um, the women's voices were heard that went through what they went through. But back to J. Cole, honey. So I was at work and, um, I remembered it was all-star weekend Philippe's had just became this super popular spot for urban people as well, just because um, Rick Ross had mentioned it in one of his songs where he was saying she want wings. No, she wanted Philippe's. I'm thinking Wingstop or whatever. So usually when that happens, like stuff goes up just if a rapper mentions anything. Like, I don't know if you guys know about like the Cavassier thing or like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, all that good stuff. So that's basically what happened. Um, and we we were at work we were at the bottom floor Shaq was already upstairs it was some type of party Shaq was having i think and y'all i look a i look better than this most of the time but i just i don't know i just needed to get this video done so i could go to bed and i still got a couple more things i gotta do um love you guys though so yeah i was downstairs and um he had walked in Philippe's is no longer here in Houston either. I think it's shut down. So I tried to go eat there when I first moved back and it was out of there. But, um, so yeah, J. Cole walks in and he's with like, I think he was with like maybe three or four people, four guys. And, um, this was before he, like people knew he was like married and stuff like that. Like, I didn't know he was married. Not saying I, let me get to the story. So, <laughs> um, he walked in and he was like, do you guys have a bar? And I remember him saying it. And this is the first time <laughs> I was ever around somebody that I looked up to or just a celebrity in general where I was like stunned and shocked and I couldn't say anything. So uh, like a cat literally had my tongue. Like I could not speak and I was just like, looking at him like this <laughs> and I swear it wasn't like an attraction thing like I had a crush on him or anything like that um J. Cole no shade he's just not my type but he's handsome he's just not my type like the type of guy I would like or whatever but um I love his spirit I love his music I loved what he talked about I love that, like, I was in college at the time, so he was helping me get through college listening to his music, and the fact that he was right in front of me, <laughs> it's like, like, Andre 3000, like, Andre 3000 to me, I wouldn't date him or anything, but, like, if I saw him, 
I need to be prepared on what I'm going to say ahead of time. I probably need to think about that because he's literally my favorite artist, him and Sade. So if I see him, I need to know what I'm going to say, what I'm going to ask him, what advice I need to get. But yeah, literally, he walked up and I was just like a deer in the headlights. And he asked me again. And he was like, he was like, is there a bar here? And still nothing. I couldn't say anything. Nothing came out of my mouth, right? So I was, I was like, uh, ah. <laughs> and, and he was like, why are you smiling? And I still didn't know what to say. <laughs> I still did not know what to say, bro. So I literally was still stunned. And then all of a sudden a voice in my head uh, was like, tell him you're a musician my boss was standing right next to me at that point she had walked up and i guess it was just to like check on me because i had just started working there and she was like are you okay des i was like yeah i'm okay and she was like there's a bar there's a bar straight across here and there's a bar upstairs i was like oh my god so then he walked to i think the upstairs bar and or no he may have said is there a bar upstairs child i was empty brain. I don't know. I, it was something about a bar. Is there a bar? Is there a bar upstairs? Something like that. Um, which there was, but uh, he walked up and there, his entourage homies, skillet biscuits was still down at the, where I was at. And, um, I remembered remembering like, Oh my God, tell them you're a musician. So my boss was still there. So I had to wait till she walked away, obviously. And so she walked away and they ended up coming down really quickly for something. And I remember my homegirl, Dominique, actually did have a crush on him. Now, if I knew he was married, I would not have called her. But it, he was faithful anyway to his wife. So I I appreciate that, too. And that's something to look up to and, and strive for as well. Because I'm a musician myself. And, like, I like loving one person, being with one person curbing people I don't like curbing people that hurts their feelings but I'd rather do that and be a good person so I called my homegirl and I was like girl your man here J. Cole is here she had like the hugest crush on him she loved when his eyebrows looked like one she loved everything about him honey <laughs> so I'm like your man here girl come get him because I don't want him but um she came in and she got dressed up real quick. She like drove all the way to Philippe's from her house and she was from LA. So she was like super excited and she wanted, I don't know. I don't remember what she had on, but I remember she had red lipstick. She used to always wear red lipstick. She was so pretty. And she had very much of like a Aaliyah vibe. Like she did the long hair. It was her hair. She was straightening it. And she would do really simple looks. She would wear pants a lot. And just real simple, real pretty. And so, child, <laughs> she walked in. She went in that. At that point, they were at the bottom part of the bar. And I remember her walking over to them. And one of the homies had, like, came out and, like, came back, I guess, to get something out the car or something. Or asked me where the restroom was, something like that. And I remember going, bro, tell them you're a musician. So I was like, hey, is there any way I can like send my music to you guys? And like, I'm a musician and stuff. So he goes, yeah, yeah. He was like, send it to me on Twitter. I was like, how am I going to send it to you on Twitter? Because I'm like a brand new artist. I was like, I can email it to you. Like, I can't send it to you on Twitter. It's not on nothing yet. I didn't know how to do all that. So I, uh, he gave me his email address. He wrote it down. Child, I emailed it to him. My music was not that good back then like I'm not even gonna hold you it's great now y'all check it out I have two albums and a new single called gotta stay focused I'm releasing the album this year but yeah that that uh that music back then honey I was talking about what everybody be talking about on the radio it was about dancing and drinking and turning up and and money and just stupid stuff and I ain't even really like I mean and I did kind of live a crazy life, but a lot of the stuff I talked about was like not, I'm a better person. So I'll just say that I'm a better person. 
Um, and I was then too. I just didn't know. So, and I was just trying to make like a hit that they could dance to and play in like the S Club and stuff. So, I sent him this song I had called Dirty Desiree, which I literally don't even have it on any platforms because I hate that song. <laughs> I really hate that song. But like, that was all I had back then. I remember I met a few different artists and like somebody or somebody who knew an artist and they were like, oh, I'm going to send it to them. Because people like the song. It was just very like, it's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel, but it was very... Very much talking about what everybody talks about. It wasn't what my favorite artist like would like. And then I like J. Cole, Andre 3000, Sade, Aaliyah, like classic artists. So Erica Badu, Honey, Lauren Hill, the list goes on and on. But those type of artists. So that music was not reflecting that at all. I had just started writing, just learning how to do that and everything. Anyway... Yeah, so I sent the music to the guy, and then I looked over just to see what happened with um, my homegirl, and they ended up, he I, I could tell she had, like, walked straight up to him or, like, sat at the bar near him, and he kind of passed her down to the homie. He was like, oh, you, well, he's single, you know what I'm saying? And I remember her telling me that after I had left, I was like, how did it go? Did you get to meet him? Like, what happened? You know, did you get a picture? Like, what did you do? Did you get to talk to him a little? And she was like, I got to tell him I love this music. And he told me his homeboy was single. And that was pretty much it. And they, like, sat and talked at the bar the whole time till I think they stayed till the restaurant closed. But, yep, that's my story about when I met J. Cole. And I will have more awesome stories for you guys. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. And I will see you guys on the next video. And it's been a long day, so please excuse my face, my unbrushed hair, and everything. But it's nowhere near what I look like during that R. Kelly video thing. I still wear my natural hair to my fro and everything. Because my fro honestly was cute. I just like to do my baby hairs. Like, baby hairs gotta be done or she gonna have some type of hat on, honey. She gonna have some type of hat. I like baby hairs, okay? But yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Share this thing. S subscribe, comment, keep the algorithm together. I noticed like 74% of the people that watch my videos, they don't subscribe, like it, or nothing. Like, do something so it, it can be seen because they got it where all the stuff gets hidden now and I hate it. But... I'm just happy I'm monetized and, like, I get my first check. So, I'm doing something right. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> Ddesiree.com.